How can we transport electricity in mechanism? Okay, obviously there are many types of cables, right? But let's start with those that carry electricity. We have four types for each cable, got it? We have basic, advanced, universal, and ultimate universal. As you see, we go from 3,200 to 51,400, 9,000, up to 3 million, 27,270. So how is electricity transport? Well, first we need an electricity generator. For example, let's use a wind generator, okay? It'll be easier this way. As you can see, it has a green output. This green output usually indicates an electricity point, right? We can connect that electricity point directly to an energy cube. An energy tank, let's grab one from over here, okay? This allows us to store energy. As you can see, it's slowly rising directly, right? But why do we want to use a cable? Well, let's say we want to generate even more, yeah? We have four and want to connect all four directly to the machine, or five. We'd put these five, uh, add this cable, which seems enough as it's not saturated. See, how do you know? Uh, how can you tell it's saturated? Well, basically you can tell with the JMOD, right? As you can see, it would charge much faster than if there was just one, okay? If there's only one, it goes slower, right? I think that I think that's pretty obvious. That's what cables are a bit useful for. Clearly, as we progress, we'll make machines that generate more power and need stronger cables, okay? Don't worry about the start. We've got these cables. They're crafted from steel ingots, which we can get from... Basically, it's made with a metallurgy infuser, got it? You add energy, then put in some coal, okay? There it is, coal. Put in an ingot and it'll turn into powder. I'll add an upgrade to speed it up. Faster upgrade, boom, done. So now you've got steel dust, see? Process the ingot twice and you're set. You've got steel dust. Now heat it or, or run it through a crusher and you'll get the ingot. See, heat it up and bam, you've got the ingot. Simple as that. 